one consistent thing with the Junior Sago program forever has been Jack Williams. And if it wasn't for Jack, each time there's been a change in the organizational structure, the coaching staff, the ownership, um, it would be a huge learning curve for lots of these new staff members to try and learn and figure out what the heck this Junior League is all about. Beyond that, Jack, as tough as his exterior is with his Army background, I think Jack's heart is as big as anybody's and his only concern really is taking care of the boys playing on the organization. Well, from my perspective, Jack was uh, the trainer when we took over the team and, and the operations of the team seven years ago and uh, Jack was really the glue and, and the one guy that for us that uh, kind of kept the dressing room scored away and, and, and you know all the players had been around Jack and we were new, Grant Ledger and myself and and uh, kind of Jack was the kind of guy that bridged everything and, and uh, it was healthy having him around and he kept everybody in the dressing room in line and, and, and Grant and myself as well. And uh, I think he's, how old is he, 73? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, he's 76, 76 years old and the guy still runs out on the ice anytime anybody's injured. Like, clearly shouldn't be, but <laughs> he doesn't even think twice about it. And he's hilarious in the room, just one of those character guys, every junior team has had one like him. And he's, I mean, he's helped me grow as a person, but he's just unbelievable. He comes into the rink every day, smiles, joking with the boys, and pretending to hate it, but you can tell he just loves it. And there's nothing else he'd rather do. Very dedicated to this job. I mean, doing it for so long, yeah, I obviously have to have a love for it. Um, he, I mean, just interacting with the guys, I mean, He's always fun to be around. I mean, even when I mean, even though he's having a tough day, he's always um, brings a smile to your face. I mean, having him around is just I mean, it just changes like the, I guess the mood just because um, uh, it just brings like an energy. He's always joking around with the guys. You know, he's got nicknames for us all. Uh, you know, he's a he's a fun guy to have in the room, and uh, you know, a great a great uh, equipment manager. You know? Well, I mean, and, and a guy like you, when you had to come into the team and, and get reacquainted with an all-new atmosphere, how, how welcoming was he to get you settled in and comfortable? He was awesome, you know. I mean, he called me, uh, I played for Oakville last year, and uh, he still calls me Oakville. I don't know if he knows my real name or not, but uh, you know, it's just uh, it's a running joke we got, but he's a great guy. Uh, he road trips the bus on the way back. He uh, comes to the back of the bus, tells us stories about it back in the day, and, you know, we learned a lot from him. And, He's always just in a happy mood, he's, he's funny, he's just, you know, lights up the room. Uh, the first time that I met Jack, I think that I was probably pretty frightened at first, and I was just like, who is this man? He's obviously been with the team for very long, he knows the ins and outs of everything. And then as soon as I got to Jack, he was my best friend. Now every time I come in, he's asking me how I'm doing, how things are, but he's just all about making sure that I'm okay, even when he's not okay. 35 years in the Army uh, taught him how to really make leaders out of young men, and he spent his life doing it. And uh, it's the happiest thing in his life, and the thing that's probably most important to him, aside from his own family, is to be here and be with his Junior Sabres family and be with these guys. Uh, I think these guys carry a lot of Jackisms and a lot of Jack wisdom with them when they leave here, and I know that uh, a lot of Jackisms and Jack wisdom has made a big impact on my life as well, and he certainly makes my job easier. Jack is a thread that keeps the keeps the clothing together on this team. It's, he's uh, an intricate part of everything that we do here. He keeps us well organized. He gets everything ready for our bus trips, everything day to day. He's here early. He's the first one here at any practice or game, organizing things, everything that we have to, that we need for games or practices, laundry, everything. So, and he treats every one of us like we're his own children. Well, what else he provides is that we've got kids that live out of the area and it's a, it's a shock to them to leave their homes from their moms and dads and they come into the, to a new environment and they're on the road, they're staying someplace. And Jack tries to make them feel at home. Like, there, there's nothing special about how he, he handles every individual all the same. He makes them guys all feel like they're part of a family. I just remember between uh we get some floods, cut practice in half, and uh, get a nice cut. And Jack would be filling water bottles, and and you'd talk to him, and he'd always have uh, a one-liner or two that would uh, put a smile on your face. And that's basically the what what I could sum it up in as in a nutshell with Jack. 
You know what? It, he just he makes it easy. He made it easy for us, and uh, he was always a guy you could go and talk to. And um, he just he was your friend, and and uh, and he helped you out the whole time. What do you say about a guy who's been doing this for 29 years? Uh, it's unbelievable. I mean, it, he puts up a lot of stuff, and and uh, he doesn't get all the glory and uh, very often. And um, it's it's just good to see that he sticks it out this long, and you can just see that he loves what he does, and the boys love him for that. So, 29 years, you'd say. He's good. I'd say he, he should have got something a long time ago <laughs> for, for how good he is and, and uh, any, ask any guy that's gone through this organization. It's, uh, he's one of the best parts of it and, and uh, ask other alumni and, and it's a quick Jack story that you, you swap around. He's, he's uh, had that big of an impact here.